What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Unity 2D platformer tutorial. If you have not watched the last tutorial, it's going to be up here in the top left corner. And you're looking at my desktop. Yep. Let's get to the Unity. Okay, so Unity right here. I'm going to show you how to do this today. This is our script. We can move around in the game using the A and D keys and space to jump. Cool. So we can jump, move. Awesome. Not doing animations because I'm not that artistic, but I'll do those later if I feel like it. So I'm going to show you the script. Script right here. We'll open that up. Mono develop, develop. So before you do scripting, I suggest that you have a moderate knowledge of basic scripting like Java, C++, whatever. Uh, C Sharp is basically the same thing as Java. It's pretty similar to Java. But yeah, so just have a little basic knowledge of scripting. Uh, Unity is not that hard scripting. You can always look it up. Okay, anyway. We define some variables up here. We have our speed, which is a number, jump height number, ray length, uh, on ground, hit 2D, which is ray cast 2D. I'll explain all these later. And then our mask, our layer mask. Okay. So right here is our move left script. So basically what it says is if we get the A key, when we push the A key, we want to change our position. So our transform dot position and make it go left for the speed. And then time dot delta time just makes it smoother. You don't have to put that in there, but I do. And yeah. So next, same thing with move right, except instead of vector three dot left, it's vector three dot right. So basically what the vector three coordinates do are the X, Y, and Z axes of 3D. Uh, that's hence the vector three. I'm just using vector three because it's more universal. Even though it is 2D, you can still use vector three. And it's just saying left or right axis. Okay, so here's the fun part. Here's the on ground. This took me a while to figure out. Okay, so right here, this whole thing is checking to make sure that we're on the ground and we can't double jump. Okay, so this hit.2D stores the information of the ray cast. Now what a ray cast is, it is it casts a line in a direction from a point and just casts it and, make, and sees if it collides. If it doesn't, whatever. If it does, it's says true okay so we're storing this information in our hit.2d the ray cast hit information and then we're going to cast it we're going to say cast it from our player position and then cast it what's the opposite up down so we're casting it down and then we'll cast it the length of the ray that we set in here i'll show you how to set it in a second and then our layer mask so i'll explain layer mask also in a second so it says if we collide with something then set on the ground to true and then it'll display it in the console and then if it doesn't collide with something then set on ground to false and this will just uh, draw the ray in the console okay so now we get to the jumping part okay so right here when it asks when we push space if we push space checks to make sure we're on the ground if we're on the ground then we can add force to our rigid body. Our rigid body is the thing that controls the gravity and all the forces right here. Rigid body 2D, make sure it's 2D, make sure all the stuff is 2D. Okay, and then we'll add a force up, because jumping is up, uh, however high you want your jumping to be, or like how fast. And then force mode 2 dimpulse means that it's not a continuous force, it's just a burst uh, force. So yes. Now I'll explain what the mask and the raycast stuff and how to set these. So our speed is five right now. If I change that to like 10, it'll make it faster. So we're a lot faster now and we can jump. Our jump isn't as fast. Yeah, but so we can move really fast. That's if you want to do like speed boost and stuff. Jump height, if you want it to jump higher. See, jump higher. Okay, let's go to that five. Our ray length right here. That just makes sure to check right below our feet. So I wouldn't change that. I'd leave that. I'd change it to two and just leave it. Okay, on ground, you don't want to change that either. It should just be checked and unchecked. It'll run throughout the game. If you look over here, when we jump and unjump, when we hit the ground, it'll do that. Okay. And then the mask right here, the layer mask is saying if we don't, we want the rake has to ignore the player. That way it doesn't collide with the player and can jump forever. Okay, so we basically add a layer to the player. And if you don't know how to do that, you go to edit, 
Project Settings, Tags and Layers, and then go to Layers and add a player layer or whatever one you'd like. And then add that to your object, I add player. And it may, and then you uncheck it and this leave everything else checked. And then now your Raycast doesn't hit your player. You can also do this with a camera. It uses ma uh, masks also. So if you just take away your player, then it won't show up. Okay, so now we can move our player back. And those were all the things you needed to know on how to make your player move around and jump. Here is a script one more time. Here we go. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up and subscribe and leave a comment on what you thought of this tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Bye.